South Central Iowa. Um, unfortunately, we're in some hail damaged soybeans also. A uh, hailstorm came through on May 28th, Memorial Day. Uh, we're here on May 30th, uh, two days later, looking at these. So, um, a lot of these beans would have been V1. Uh, so, the uh, first dry foliage is opening up. We've got our unifolias out. Um, and, and so, we're just evaluating the stand, looking for damage. Uh, with soybeans, definitely have defoliation, but young soybeans are, are more prone to the breaking off and the hail damage actually uh, breaking some of the plants. So, for an example, is, uh, is this one here. Um, the top, the trifolia has been broken off uh, and you got the unifoliates. Now, the beautiful thing about beans is that at each node is a growing point. So there's a little branch, little trifoliates coming out here. One cotyledon, you got a little branch coming out there. And on the other side, a little branch already started here two days later. So uh, when you start looking at other plants, um, you know, broken off before, uh, like some of these, as long as you've got a cotyledon or at least part of a cotyledon here um, those should probably come back okay um, the trouble is like this one's already brown uh, that was broken off below where those cotyledon nodes are and that one is dead um, this one here broken off above the cotyledons but both cotyledons are gone technically alive uh, but it's gonna be really slow to come back and, you know just having a little bit more of this cotyledon here is gonna provide uh, some photosynthesis but also reserves uh, to help this plant come back a lot quicker so as you're going through doing your stand counts um, you know I recommend everything with a full cotyledon I would still count as an alive plant um, everything without or with a partial kind of gets on the edge so this field was seeded at 165 uh, we were expecting uh, looks like it should have been about 130,000 plants with the hail we're down to about 90,000 plants so consultant uh, with our hail decision guide this is probably still worth keeping um, not worth adding in a little replant hey Ryan Van Rickle here pioneer field agronomist South Central Iowa uh, we're in a different field of uh, soybeans here that had some hail damage two days ago on Memorial Day um, the trouble being with this field it uh, it was just the, the VC stage so just the unifolias were out um, a little bit younger and then uh, it seems to be what happens to these younger beans uh, their stems are just a little smaller yet maybe a little more brittle but uh, a lot more damage here, uh, literally adjacent to the, the field of bigger beans that we looked at uh, just a minute ago. So, again, this one's all torn up, uh, but that should turn into a fine uh, bean. Uh, an example like this, uh, broken off right at the cotyledons. Uh, this one's dead, it just doesn't know it yet. So, as you're doing your stand evaluation, uh, you look down here, you know, of course, anything with leaf matter or cotyledons is going to be okay. So, good, dead, dead, dead okay dead dead probably dead dead okay uh, and so on and so this field of course is uh is a lot tougher so we're counting probably only 40,000 plants that are going to live um, so in this situation narrow row beans uh, uh, we would recommend replanting so as soon as it dries up coming in here and adding in probably another hundred thousand seeds and uh, in the end that really should probably turn out okay too maybe not as bad as as, as you expect but a uh, field like this is definitely worth uh, replanting. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.